Hello and welcome, this is Rufamonger. So Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath is coming out tomorrow as of the time of me making this video and NetherRealm Studios has done another combat cast breaking down Shiva, Robocop and also giving us a couple hints what's coming in the patch. So hey, let's talk about it and let's break down everything they mentioned in the stream and let's start with Shiva. So first up here, what kind of character is Shiva? Well, in their own description here, Shiva is a power grappler, big time damage. Uh, as you can see, using the shield right now. So everyone in MK11 for the most part uses weapons some way, shape or form. So Shiva, she uses the shield. Move set wise, so it looks like she has some mix built into her move set. This move here you're looking at is her back three. And this move actually is an overhead as they state. So that's actually pretty cool. Also has a crushing blow attached to it if it either punishes or counter hits a low attack. We got this string here, uh, so it has mids and overheads here. I'm assuming the big conk is the overheads and the rest are mids. Stated very easy to hit confirm string, also seems to have an overhead ender as well. But yeah, so easy hit confirms to say the least, right? Four separate hits. If you can't hit confirm that, what can you get, right? Uh, but yeah, so that looks pretty cool. We got forward one, that's this guy right here. So forward one is an advancing mid hitting string. Hey, and that is always, always, always handy to have. This double hitting kick right here is stated to be her fastest mid. Uh, you also don't have to do the follow up, hopefully hit confirmable. Uh, but yeah, having fast mids, always a blessing. On to her base special move set here. So she does have the traditional Shokan fireball here. If you do enhance it, it is a mid. Normally it's a high, so it's duckable, but the enhanceable version cannot be ducked. The animation is not that different, honestly. So I think you'll catch a lot of people sleeping at the wheel with that one. Uh, but yeah, it looks pretty serviceable for what it is and having the mid hitting one looking very similar to the base version is very good in my opinion. So we got the next move here. This looks like a command grab to be sure. However, it was stated it's actually a strike grab, like a hit grab, not a true command grab. That's weird in my opinion, but hey, there you go. Uh, so hey, it looks cool. She just bonks you in the face pretty savagely. It is stated the enhanced version also has a DOT damage over time effect added on to the end of it. So uh, fun to see how that goes. Since this is apparently a, you know, a hit grab instead of a true command grab, probably going to be one of the main ways you're going to be ending most of your combos. The classic stomp is back and yes, it is indeed unblockable. So one thing to note here about the stomp, you actually have some control over how it's going to wind up in that you can delay it a little bit. So if you're trying to catch back dashes, forward dashes or whatever jumps, you can manually delay the move. So if people try to be tricky and jump out or dash out, you delay it and then you're going to stomp them where they now are. Once they, they thought they were smart. Also it does have a crushing blow. So if the move doesn't miss three times, and that's the, the terminology they use specifically, doesn't miss three times, then it'll get a crushing blow. On to the variation. So variation one has this anti-air grab and they just state anti-air grabs across the board. Like not just Shiva, like Shao Kahn, Terminator, all that. They are getting buffed across the board. So yeah, it rips people out of the air and you give them a you know, good old what for, right? And if you enhance it, it does seem to bounce and then get some combo ability from there. So if you got any given strings that can combo into it, then hey, well, there's all your combo potential in a nutshell, right? Because it's going to be very easy to follow up some from such a big bounce. Next up, we have the Quake, another true unblockable move as per the stream stated here. Uh, so you can EX it and have uh, just like a double stomp follow up. Now it is stated here as well. You can cancel the second stomp, uh, the EX, into the air grab. So if the enemy tries to jump over the second stomp, then you actually can just grab them out of the air, which I find pretty funny. And it'll definitely confuse a lot of people and trick a lot of people. Also in this variation, the stomp gets buffed a bit as you have a little bit of air control over it. So you can choose to be either further out or closer in or basically more to the left or more to the right or, you know, you can just land the usual direction. So once again, trying to catch people dashing around, jumping around it. Variation two heavily based on the shield using her weapon here. Uh, you have a shield charge and this is a natural combo starter as you can see here. Uh, so, well, you got to burn a bar, but still you get to start combos with it here. You also get a shield spin, as you see there. And if you hit for the third time, it doesn't have to be in a row or whatever. It just stated for a third time period, it does become a crushing blow. So, hey, that seems like a move you're going to want to use in combos a lot. And the shield toss. So the shield toss is stated to destroy projectiles. So like uh, very similar to Sub-Zero's EX Ice Ball. 
So when it comes to like a zoning war, Shiva's gonna win. She's a hard counter zoner. Uh, so if she truly breaks all fireballs with this shield, you gotta get in because you're not gonna be able to outzone her. Variation 3 Shiva reminds me a bit of Terminator actually. Uh, so we have this big power walk stance, has the big old boot, right? And that boot is plus on block, by the way, uh, but it is a high. Now the thing about this here is when you're charging forward, you can actually cancel out. You don't have to necessarily do the big boot. In this scenario here, Shiva's going for the walk, cancels out, goes into the overhead. So hey, if you thought you were smart and tried to duck that high, you're going to get overheaded instead. Another example here, just, you know, doing the run, canceling out, going for a forward throw, right? So it's just all about being tricky. You have the base move, the plus on block high, and all the other mind games are based from there. Also has another strike grab. This is a low, so you actually have to block this one low. And she gives you the good old chuck, you know, give you a mind on your business, right? Some punches in the guts and get tossed. So as you can see there, you also get to switch sides. And any grab lets you switch sides, pretty good in my opinion. And that EX follow-up, uh, I guess it's a little bug because it's showing the health, but it is stated it's supposed to be a DOT as well. And in seemingly her only actual command grab, because she has been built as a grappler, but everything is all strike throws, right? Uh, this is a crouching opponent only command grab. So uh, similar to how like the 3D fighting games tend to do it with like Wolf or King or something like that. So if you're ducking, you're going to get chucked. Also works in combos just fine. In this example here, uh, we do see a tick grab set up as well. So that's pretty cool for the low hitting grab. And that's Shiva in a nutshell. So still a lot more to be learned, to be sure. I can smell there's going to be a lot of tech here, but we got to wait till we get our hands on Aftermath. But hey, not too long from now, it's coming tomorrow. So now let's move over to Robocop. So for Robocop, hey, first things first, he's a little stiff. Yeah, but it is by design. You don't want like Donnie Yen Robocop. That's not, you know, accurate to the character, right? Uh, so overall, Robocop, while well, he has, you know, some different routes he can go about, he definitely reads as a zoner. Uh, especially Variation 2, oh my lord, uh, Variation 2 is gonna make some people mad. But yeah, so he's got a lot of stuff and let's go over it. So first up here, this is his 4-2 string, kind of a basic uh, hit confirm starter. Also has like a Nightwolf style chop ender as well. If you want to like, uh, you know, do delay strings or whatever, just get people off their game, off their balance. Uh, also here, uh, has a crushing blow on counter hit or punish. Also, to quickly note here, both throws have the usual uh, throw crushing blow requirement, so that's always handy. Uh, this Mongolian chop move, that's his back two, so it's a meterless launcher, you just get a combo follow-up, so it's probably death on block, just so you know. We have back one here, hitting with the, the data spike, and also seems to have a can follow-up here. The uh, rocket is part of this string. Back three is a low, it's not much, just basically to establish, hey, I can hit you low at least. Forward 4, the big boot here, also has a meterless launcher as well. However, that meterless launcher, that punch part, is a high, very duckable, so watch out for that. But hey, you know, he's got a big boot, that's always cool. On to his base special moves. Yo, of course he's got the gunshot, no surprise, right? And you can amp it for two additional shots. It's going to be a strong basic zoning tool. Also can use the Cobra Assault Cannon, so much bigger, much meaner fireball, basically. Also can amp for additional hits, and while it is a high, just so you know, the additional hits when you enhance it, those are mids. So uh, if you block the high, or rather, if you duck the high, you do have to block the additional follow-ups so or you're going to get got. Also has a lot of pushback on block, as you can see here. That's uh, kind of real. We also have Landmine straight out of Cyrax. So uh, he will take his shoulder cannon, shoot a shot, and this is the mine right here. And it works basically under Cyrax rules. It'll go off after a small bit of a delay. And you get to choose, you know, where, what angle and all the kind of fun stuff you shoot at that. Also an upwards aerial gunshot here. Uh, might have combo potential in the corner with like rejuggles juggles and stuff. We'll see how it goes. And hopefully fast enough to actually be worthwhile as an anti-air. And our last space special is the parry. Very interesting because it beats projectiles. It'll totally absorb projectiles on top of the usual parry beating strike stuff, right? So... It's multifaceted, so you can just kind of really hunker down and tank with it. Also has a crushing blow, so if you parry a wake-up attack, you will get a crushing blow with it. On to variation one, he has this grab. It's a true command grab, it is a throw, and yeah, he can just switch sides with you, he can walk with you, all that kind of stuff. It's actually pretty good, uh, reminiscent of Jax in a way. Um, the only question is if it's a high grab or if it's a mid. I'm going to assume it's a high because we can't ever have good things. But yeah, it looks very fun and I'm pretty actually excited to play around with it. Another thing for Variation 1 is he can advance or retreat with his pistol out. 
so you get to choose. So you can walk people down with the pistol. It is also cancelable, so you can do, you know, those sort of standard mind games of, okay, if you're going to duck or whatever, I'm going to cancel out and then hit you with a mid or a low or whatever, right? But yeah, very interesting. Last thing for this variation is a new kind of grenade. It's an electro grenade, and it causes a capture state. So while you are shocked, Robocop can do whatever he wants, whatever combo, whatever fun stuff, and just go from there. So a pretty interesting take here. Has some minor zoning changes, has the command grab, which is always interesting. It always varies up a character's game plan. And hey, this capture state stuff, because he does keep the regular grenade too, as you can see there. So you have some multi-layer zoning. Variation 2, and this is going to be the variation to make people rage, guaranteed. Uh, he has mid-hitting gunshots, so no ducking under these gunshots. Also, he himself ducks under a little bit while doing it, meaning he can also go under high projectiles, and that crushing blow right there is exactly that. So if he goes under a high or hits while you're doing a high projectile, that is the crushing blow. We had moves from Cyrax, so now here's some sector stuff. He does have a flamethrower, and it's good for all the reasons you think. Leaves people standing, you're going to be advantage in their face. Uh, so it's time to guess, you know, strike throw, mix-ups, all that kind of fun stuff. It's going to be high mix-up potential. Also from Sector, we got the Rockets. And Rockets come two varieties. They can be ripping quick, and it does look like it's high. Or it can also be a very slow startup here for very good for, like, screen control, right? So if you preemptively jump, you're just going to land in it instead. So yeah, we have a total zoning package. And finally for variation 3, we're taken to the skies because he now has an aerial charge. This move also is an armor breaking move and does have a crushing blow on top of it. In a move that's sure to inspire some PTSD and MKX players, he has the old Aaron Black Caltrops move and it works exactly the same way you think it does. So the longer you stand in it, the more damage you are taking. The enhanced version's even crazier because on top of, you know, doing damage over time, if you stand in it for too long, it then puts you into a capture state, meaning you have no control of your character, you can't block, and you get comboed out for free, guaranteed. And to be, you know, just full on pants on head crazy, yeah, you can have both out at the same time. So he's absolutely going to delete certain characters in the corner. And finally, we have the Lightning Shield, and it's pretty simple. If you hit Robocop while the Lightning Shield is up, you are going to take damage. There's really nothing else to say, so you're going to hurt yourself hurting him. <laughs> so expect scenarios where you kill yourself with your own combo. And that's Robocop. So also to note here, some of the general balance changes that are coming our way for Mortal Kombat 11 Aftermath. We'll have a full list of patch notes probably tomorrow. But for just an idea of what's coming here, Raiden! So back one two is safer, and they use the term safer, not safe. We'll see, I hope it's just actually safe. The final hit at the end here is a hit grab. It is now a true grab, meaning you got to get out of the way of it. You're not blocking it. Shao Kahn 434, also same deal here. The hit grab at the end is now also a true grab. Raiden Storm Cell, you can't break away until the last hit. So no more like getting guaranteed full punishes on Raiden for doing a move that... It he get you know get rewarded for him hitting you no more of that stupid stuff right scarlet back to has way more advantage on hit blood port is faster 4-4 four, four is now high mid instead of high high there's a lot of good stuff coming also combat league so combat league you can now actually do uh casual rematches after your set so if both players agree after your set is over in combat league you can now then just leave Combat League and just go into casuals and play from there. Just auto match make you. You don't got to message each other and none of that stuff. You can just play from there. So I also think that's very cool. And as of the time of making this video, Aftermath is out tomorrow. So on this channel, expect patch breakdown, the full stuff. You guys know I love breaking down those patch notes. Expect character guides, expect combo guides, expect uh, all sorts of stuff. You know, welcoming new and returning players back to MK11, all that kind of stuff. There will be a lot of content on the channel, so please look forward to it. And that all said, I guess that's the end of this video. So hey, thank you very much for watching. Hope this video found you well. Go out and play some Mortal Kombat.